If you've been looking for an OLED television that doesn't break the bank, you might want to take a look at the TV that we're going to review today. This is the Sansuri S55 Vogue 120Hz OLED television. This OLED TV has features like HDMI 2.1 has a peak brightness of 500 nits and has a slim design. Not only does this TV have a lot of value, but the panel on it is a 10-bit LG display, so you're gonna get a similar colors as you would get on more expensive televisions. It's powered by Google TV and has a lot of your favorite applications, and that includes voice control. One of the most impressive thing about this television is how well it's designed and how well it's built. Just in case you missed it, I did do a full unboxing, walked through the menu and did gaming. So go check out that video right after this one. And I was reading the comments and a lot of people worried about reliability. Now, according to what I've seen online and what I've read, I think Sansui is committed to bringing great customer service and reliable products at a budget price. When I was watching movies on the Sansui television, I will say that I was very happy with the picture quality. With 500 nits of peak brightness, in my opinion, it's gonna be bright enough for the average person, but the thing that really stands out is the vivid colors on this television. And if you haven't owned a OLED television before, you'll definitely be happy with the picture quality, especially with the black levels that you're gonna get on a display like this. One thing about this television is that you don't have to worry about getting the best picture quality out of it because it has different types of picture profiles that you can select through whenever you're watching different content on it. This includes standard, dynamic, movie, echo, and there's some features like vivid, sports, and gaming mode. So you can select whatever picture quality that you need for the content that you're watching. And don't even worry about HDR because they have you covered on this television, including all types of different profiles, including standard, dynamic, movie mode, echo. So you'll have a lot of choices watching different types of content on this television. So you have plenty of different profiles to choose through whenever you're watching your favorite movie or TV show. In my opinion, this TV was built for high dynamic range content. Not only are you gonna see more highlights in the content that you're watching, but it's gonna bring out a lot more shadow details with the metadata that HDR has to offer. And when it comes to the Sansui OLED, you can see that the performance on the picture quality of this television is fantastic. The black levels are extremely icky. You're gonna get all the color separation that you need. And this will be great for someone who wants to get into OLED technology, but doesn't wanna break the bank. When it comes to watching sports on this television, I had a really good experience. Not only that the colors were bright and vivid, but the motion was smooth and non-choppy as well. One of the things you gotta remember when watching any type of content on the television is that you have to use a good source. So if you have IPTV or something that doesn't have a high bit rate, you might see ghosting and trailing on your television, but in my opinion, I think it's gonna be great for sports as long as you have a high bit rate signal to it, like running streaming applications. Now I wanna show you the motion in this television because that's important. People always saying that they're getting ghosting on televisions, trailing, or getting a soap opera effect, but this TV has a lot of controls in it to be able to adjust that. So here's a motion test, and one thing that I will point out is that it's based off of the different pitch profiles that will change the motion in the television. Now, if you're watching a movie, you definitely wanna put it in movie mode, and this is really based off of 24 frames per second, so it slows down the television to match the content. But the great thing about this particular television is that it has a processor in it that supports MEMC. So I want to show you, if you switch it off, how choppy the picture gets. But as I increase the different levels of it, you can see how the TV smooths out and this even can create a soap opera effect. And with these controls, I'll think you'll be able to find the happy medium like I did to get a smooth picture on all the content that you're watching. Now, even though I've said this TV has a beautiful screen, let's get into some tests so we can really see how well it performs, starting off with a dirty screen effect. Now, typically OLED TVs do not have dirty screen, but I have seen it from time to time. And basically this is where the picture is not uniformed. I did notice a slight red tint in the center, but it's not really noticeable. And I don't think you're gonna see that on watching any type of content. And this is one of the benefits of an OLED television in general. And if you wonder about upscaling, I would say that this TV looks great. And if you're wondering about playing your old DVD player or something like that for upscaling, I would say that the processor in this television does a good job. And there's even zoom options in the television so you can stretch out the picture slightly on non widescreen content, but this will pixelate the picture quite a bit. But through my findings, if you play 720p, 
1080p or even 4K content, this TV is gonna look fantastic. But we all know if you wanna get the best performance out of any TV, including this one, you wanna play Netflix, 4K, Amazon, Hulu, or a service like that to be able to get the best performance. And since this Sansui is an OLED television, you don't have to worry about any blooming whatsoever because each individual pixel are self-lit, meaning that they turn on only when they see a signal and this creates the inkiest black level that you can get on a television. So you're not gonna get any type of glow at the end of a movie when they're displaying the credits. There's no doubt about it that this TV has a fantastic picture, but when it comes to audio, for me, it was a little bit of letdown. Here, take a listen. This is a Tech Steve audio test for the next few moments. Sit quietly and experience the range of this TV's audio capabilities as we test the boundaries of sound. Even though this TV has a 2.1 audio system with a built-in subwoofer, I just didn't hear the bass response of the subwoofer, but when it comes to just listening to it on TV, it works just fine. Now, the great thing is that it does have an HDMI 2.1 output, or you can use Bluetooth so you can get a better audio experience by using external sources. Now, on my main video, I did do some gaming. I went through all that, so again, go check out that video. But I just want to do a little bit of gameplay on this video, just so you can see what it looks like. If you're a gamer, make sure you go check out the unboxing video because I went through all the settings on it so you can see what type of performance is on this television. And I had a lot of fun gaming on it. It was very smooth and has some really good colors. The last few things I wanna mention is that this TV does have an anti-glare coating on it. So if you have a room with a lot of lights in it, I will say that you will see some reflection on the television, but just keep in mind, if you have a room with a lot of windows in it, you will see some reflection on the television, but at least this has that coating. Now there's some fun features in this television. Like for example, it has a karaoke button here and you can download an application to your smart device and go to YouTube or some different sources that has karaoke words. And this TV supports a Bluetooth microphone as well as a USB microphone. So you can have a lot of fun with the family. And if you're worried about burn in, this TV does have protection in it that shifts the pixels around. So that helps out if you have static images on the screen. Here's my opinion on this television after using it for the last few days to make this review for you guys, is that the picture rock solid. I showed you a lot of demos on it. And as you can see, OLED TVs in general looks fantastic. Now, one thing about this television, again, you have a one year warranty on it and it could use a couple improvements on a few things. First of all, this remote control doesn't have a menu button on it. So to get to all the settings, you'll have to go into the main Google operating system. The second thing is I wish it had a game bar, which maybe they'll add that. And I wish this TV had a better audio system than what I'm hearing. Other than that, I think this TV is very solid and I wish they would make this in bigger sizes. So maybe we'll see some 77 or 83 inches next year's, but who knows the future is bright. But other than that, I think this is a great television for someone who's looking for something on the budget. And if you guys are interested, I'll leave all the links in the description below. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.